quack. This is an inch quack. This time I make a medieval horn because we were on the medieval festival and we bought some stuff. Actually, I bought some stuff. Now it's it wasn't actually only for me, but we bought some stuff. And the first thing I bought was this hairpin. Look at this. Uh, there was uh, a person. I was just standing there and was. Um, admiring this uh, masterpiece craft and there was a woman who needed actually some attention and she started to talk to me this, this is very well for thick hair and i said okay i don't have thick hair i have much hair but it's not thick it's very thin when i try to fix my hair after a couple of minutes it looks like there's no tail anymore, just hair. Doing whatever it wants. <laughs> and um, this person said to me, if you buy, buy this hair gummy, is it called gummy? Yeah, Don't tell to me. Baba, indeed. Hair gummy, is it right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hair rubber! It's called hair rubber! I bought it with Pegasus! People do always like this hair. Yeah. yeah, it reminds me also of an anime series I liked. It was about a couple of guys, various. They represented the stars, stars. and always protected a super female, super beautiful, super lila hair, super thin, in white, innocent dress. And they were called Cavalieri del Rotsdilco. I don't know the English translation of it, but the original Japanese name is Senteseya. It reminds me very much of this anime. That's why I admired <laughs> actually this medieval art. I don't know how much it cost. But it wasn't cheap. I think it was 12 euro. But if it keeps his promise and will keep my hair in one position, it is worth the price. It probably will last forever. Leather is a very, very, very good raw material. It lasts forever if you care very much for it. I love you. Yeah, that was uh, the hairpin I bought. And at uh, the same style, um, there was... Um, I wasn't alone again. We were in a group with some medieval freaks. They had some knowledge, me not. And uh, Ninja Oink and Ninja Quack, we were both there too. Actually, <laughs> we met there are tons of people we know. Very embarrassing. We don't share the same interests with our friends. A Ninja Oink bought a leather bag. We also saw a um, very beautiful. Um, we also saw a very beautiful bag with a dragon, but this was actually too expensive. It's a really good leather. It's handmade from handcrafter here nearby. It means um, yeah, it wasn't cheap. We couldn't buy the belt because it was uh, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. It was! <laughs> Tell me how much it is! <laughs> no, everyone 45. knows. 45. What? This one costs. I am talking about the belt and not about the stupid handbag! She's <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the belt was 60 and that was too expensive as I already bought the hairpin for 12 euro! So we haven't had the money anymore. And this was. How much was it again? 55? 44? 44! 45. 45! Damn! It was also, we, as, because we bought some stuff there, we got a little discount. He was a very kind person. Yeah, this bear, a belt. Oh, of course. This pocket. Okay. This bag he already used. You see, it's used. You can use it also for um, daily life. Yeah. You can open it. For thieves, it's very difficult to open it without being recognized. You can put your pocket in it. Dragon power! Sure. <laughs> You're not that easy. OK, 
Okay, two stuff already. I saw this one. It's totally cute. I don't know what it is. It was said that this is for tobacco. Damn that I'm not smoking. But it was totally cute and it's white. And it has a picture card in it. Tabac Boyle. Yeah, it's a bag for tobacco. Sorry, Beck, you won't be a tobacco sack anymore. You will be some bag for cosmetic products. I uh, I have to look if what fits in it. But it's totally cute. It smells like a goat. <laughs> It's probably, it was a goat. It is now a beauty bag with a beautiful stuff. It's so cute. Also something for the eternity if you, if you treat it the right way. Okay, this wasn't the only stuff we bought. You get a discount. And we thought, we both thought, yeah, we are poor, poor little people. And we get discount because we are two little poor people. No, you just get discounts on medi medieval ma markets. When you look like a medieval person, to spare one euro, we just bought medieval clothes for a couple of euros to get the discount. Nope, not. We didn't. We just bought it because it's beautiful. For the main one, we bought this. It's not a dress. It's a tunica. It's a male tunica. You wear it. It goes over your puppets. Your boop boop. And then you wear a belt on it, which is too long, and it's like you're showing the length of the belt. It's so long. These are the male ones. He didn't want to buy it again. He said, oh, it's so ugly. And then the female said, all females, I w it wasn't only me then. They said, just try it on. And he tried it on and it was totally cool. Yeah, and then he bought it. Very cute, very robust, very cool. And this tunica costs um, 79 euros. Very expensive, but something which will last for eternity. I bought a dress too. Actually, I wanted to have another dress, but um, I'd, uh, I couldn't do a lot of sports uh, during the last day. And I got strong on the wrong parts of my body that's why i had to take another dress but the lady was very kind and she said next time you can buy it i will remember you of course you will remember me this was a very unique coat and it was actually made for me i know it it was so beautiful i could i can it wear, i can wear it even all day also to work it's like a coat without arms and you put it together with a nice brush you keep it together under your brush and it's a brocade that's very cute golden brocade i mean who does not like gold seriously gold on a was very cute but i was too strong i said i will lose some weight and then i will come back in the meantime i bought this one it's very beautiful because of this so cute look at this this is really really beautiful I like it very much it's really beautiful and yeah it's a long dress <laughs> like this it's made for me too because it's for <laughs> not everyone can fit in this beautiful dress you have to have a uh, proper sizes especially above here otherwise it does not fit really really fit it's really long it seems to be worth it it's handmade again it's really good craft it's really really beautiful i can't expect the day I i'm wearing it and i finally get the discount one euro for the entrance fee and present this beautiful really beautiful and being the princess, go down, you are the plebs. With this beautiful, really beautiful arm. And uh, this was actually it's expensive. 198. 
And it was actually a funny story. We were standing there and we haven't had this money, of course. Not for the um, tunica, nor for the dress. And then the seller said, it was a female seller. How is she called? Sell dress? Sell domina? I don't know. And she said, you can pay with a magic card. And I was like, what is the magic card? Is it the entrance paper? And I was holding to her, here, my entrance paper. Do I get this dress now for free? And she was ah, like, the magic card of the other dimension. And I was like, this is the entrance sheet. This is a magic card. And then my friend said, no, she's uh, talking about a credit card or about an EC card, electric cash card. I was like, oh, this kind of magic. Well, yeah, and that's why we had to pay at least anyway. But uh, we pa paid with a magic card. Mm, it was, to uh, was nevertheless very helpful for our bank account. It was much more magical for it and not for us. And uh, in this medieval market we also bought some other stuff, not only clothes and leather and wax. How do the English call it? Accessory. Accessory? Mm -hmm. Really? It sounds really strange. It sounds like assess to something. And it's accessoires. Okay, who cares? And I have some I, bo I like tea and I bought, uh, there was um, there was a herb stall with tea and stinky stuff and of course I like this kind of stuff, that's why I first went there and bought some stuff. One is this tea. Huh. They are, it's called light tea. It sounds great, that's why I bought it. Oh, it smells very great. It's lavendula in it. Lavendula. That was probably the reason I bought it. It has a cool name and it smells great. Really great. But it also has some orange, camello, sunflowers, rose stuff. Every kind of flower. For such a flower child like me, it's the perfect tea. And um, I don't know if you know this. Uh, kind of smell stuff. We have some coal, we put some herbs on it and then it smells. They use it also in, in churches. I don't know what it's meant. It's written lente. But I don't know what it means. Oh, oh, this smells really great. And you put it on coal and then it burns. <laughs> That's not funny! It seriously burns! But not the glass, just the inner side it burns. And it smells great. I show you how it works when you are interested in it. I have a very, very beautiful container for it. I can't show you how it smells, obviously. We can see what <laughs> uh, will happen if someone comes into the room. If, it's, if he's dying immediately or if he, I don't know. Talking about smelling stuff, I also bought this one. It's a color of wind and it smells like it. Oh gosh, too much sense. It smells terrible, but the single ones are very cool. This is really one good, a really good one. Oh, this is not a very strong one. It's yellow. They, they were the best one. I can't say how much it would cost actually, as I don't have a receipt. But uh, they were expensive, I can tell. Everything in this medieval market was expensive. Why? Because it's all traditional handmade and I don't know whatsoever. We had to pay entrance fee, you have to pay tons of money for... I don't know. Yeah, and it wasn't cheap. I don't go to a medieval mark every day, that's okay. I, yeah. And we also bought some herbs for cooking. 
it has also this cool container. I want to throw it away and I used it. It's lemon mito. Oh, Ui. yeah, it has. It also has a description here. Australian. It's Australian lemon pepper. It's lemon pepper. Okay. You use it to cook. And the cool one is they also gave you a receipt for shrimps. And polo. Polo. Chicken. Chicken. For chicken. Shrimp and chicken you can use it for shrimps and chicken i will cook for you if you're interested in it and then i will show you and use it and then you can see what i do i don't know what i have to do but i have a receipt i haven't used it yet but i have a receipt to cook so i will use it someday maybe this one wasn't a sheep too i think it was 12 euro i don't know i think the uh, stinky sticks what, 12 euro or 40? 21 euro, all of it, all this one. With the tea? With the tea, with, with the tea. And the what? And the world. And the world. And the tea. <laughs> and the tea. The no, mainly the tea. Huh? Chili? No, mainly the tea. Ah, the tea was so expensive? No, no, everything was so expensive. Everything <laughs> was so expensive! <laughs> In total 21, this is not actually expensive. <laughs> yeah, I think it costs much more. <laughs> I think even the stinky sticks uh, cost 12 euro. And the tea maybe 6 euro. And this one also 6 euro. And this one, how would be the rest? 12, 6, if we were over 20 euro. Over 20 euro. I think I bought the tea later. I think we first... This three were 21 and then I bought the tea. 21 is not that expensive. Well, actually, you can't eat this. Even though if you can this use for cooking, you need the ingredients. Just the lemon pepper won't make you happy. So it's actually, it is expensive. If you think through it. But who cares? It's bought. I can't do anything against it. I already spent the money. Life is bullshit, as always. What do you think? Have you ever been to a medieval market? That was actually my first experience on one. And the next time I will be prepared much better. And I have a nice dress. I'm just missing some shoes. I just want to have a bed too. And uh, something for my head. I can't just stay awesome. It must be also awesome Mediv in the medieval. And actually, I don't know much about it. I don't know how awesome the females were once. But uh, who knows? Maybe one time I will know. Maybe if you Google it. If you are interested in this topic, tell me more because I have a plan. Um, about um, where you can go to a medieval market and uh, I will redo it for sure but first I have to lose weight to be sure that I will get next time this totally awesome 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 coat otherwise I will be very sad and this won't be a very good experience Next time we might be buy also an oil lamp or more of this stuff, sticky stuff. I like that very much if you are interested. Just tell me. Therefore there is a space down this video fresh just for you to communicate with me. Do you see the dog? He says it's time to go.